In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of a 16 gigabyte Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Why am I buying a Galaxy Nexus when I have a Nexus 4? Well, this phone is destined to be an Ubuntu phone. So let's get to it. <laughs> Now, I got this phone off of eBay because you can't really buy it anywhere brand new anymore. And if you can find it somewhere brand new, they're probably going to gouge you in price. The last time a Galaxy Nexus was available on Google Play, which is Google's online store, I believe you could get one for $199. The one in this box cost me $320 shipped. Actually, just under $320. 319 and change. And this phone is not brand new, but supposedly it's in mint condition. So I'm a little bit excited and a little bit worried about putting Ubuntu on this phone. But this is going to be the first time I've ever attempted changing the operating system on a phone. So it's exciting because it's one of those watershed moments where a phone is becoming more and more like an actual computer. I have a little trepidation though because things can go wrong. But that's for another video. This video is just to unbox this device. So let me grab my trusty cutter here and let's open this thing up. Now, like I said, $320 for a device that you could have gotten for about $200 just a couple of months ago shows you that the demand for the Galaxy Nexus is going up. At least at this time. It might have to do with the Ubuntu phone. It might have to do with the Nexus 4 shortage. I don't know. But here you go. Here's the phone itself. Now I did have a Galaxy Nexus before this and it was the Verizon version. But this version is the GSM version. And that's the one I want because I'm gonna be using Straight Talk Wireless when I have Ubuntu on here. Whether I'm gonna be using my current Straight Talk Wireless SIM that I have in my Nexus 4, or I might just get another SIM and put it in here just for this series of videos to try it out. But again, that's for another video. So this is a used item but supposedly in mint condition. The box does look very good. As you can see here, you've got the Galaxy Nexus up top, your branding here by Samsung. You have a representation of what the phone looks like on this side and the same on this side. I have had this phone before, although the Verizon LTE version was a little bit thicker than this device. On the back, it says Google Samsung. And let's open this thing up. Now in the lid here, you have a little Android peeking around the corner saying google.com slash nexus. So check it out. And this is sort of like a, actually it is foam in here. So there we go. There's the phone. Let's pull it out of here. And let me do a quick inspection. No scratches on the glass. It does look mint. I don't see a scuff on this phone. There's a little uh, dust or whatnot on there. But other than that, this phone looks mint. Very nice. Of course, you have the plastic that, when this was new, was on the glass and whatnot. Let's dive a little bit deeper in here. You have your wall plug here with the Samsung branding. Still has the plastic on it. I generally keep the plastic on mine as well because I do turn around and sell these things, so probably will keep it on there, but it does look like it's a glossy plastic. Let's put that to the side. You have the documentation here, and here we go, the earbuds. Don't know if these have been used. They don't look like they've been used, but uh, I'm not an earphone guy anyway, so I'll just probably keep them in there like that. 
And then of course you have the USB charger cord there. And that's pretty much everything in the box. You do have some cool colors there, the Google colors, the green, blue, red, and yellow. Let's put all this to the side and take a look at the phone here. So, like I said, the screen, not a scratch on it, very cool. And the Galaxy Nexus has a curved screen, so it's a little bit concave here. Very thin phone. On the left side of the phone, you have your volume rocker, and that's it. On the top of the phone, there's nothing there. On the right side of the phone, you have your power button, and then you have these little pin connectors to tell the phone when it's in a dock. On the bottom, you have your microphone, you have your charging port down here, and then you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here. On the back here, you have your speaker for speakerphone and whatnot. And there should be a secondary mic up here. There you go, for noise cancellation. On the front, you have your front-facing camera. On the rear, you have the rear-facing camera with the flash. And of course, you have your Google branding and your Samsung branding down there. Everything is a glossy type gray plastic all the way around, except this area is a rubberized textured back that actually does come off here. So let's pull this out of here. And there you go battery and SIM card slot. Let's put this back on. Looks to be in excellent condition. Just for a size comparison, Galaxy Nexus and Nexus 4. As you can see, Nexus 4 is a bigger phone. Of course, it does have the bumper case on there, but it still is a bigger phone slightly. So let's fire this thing up and see what we got here. I assume the previous owner wiped it clean, so I'm not going to have any of his information on there. You have the Nexus boot up screen there. And there we go. If you're familiar with Android, you know the steps that this walks you through. I've done videos on it in the past. I'm not going to do another video on it now because I've actually, like I said, I owned the Verizon version, so the boot up sequence is all the same. So there we go, both phones side by side, the Nexus 4 and the Galaxy Nexus. Now, this background is actually the identical background on both phones, but it does look a little bit different as you can see there. So it shows you the different screen technologies in each of these phones. A little bit different. On the Galaxy Nexus you still have the old browser whereas you have Chrome on the Nexus 4. But not a big deal because Android's not going to be on this phone for much longer. If Ubuntu doesn't work out I will be putting Android back on it though. So I can't resist. I have two Android phones, two stock Android phones with NFC incorporated into both of them. So for the first time here, I'm going to try out Android Beam. So I'm going to bring up a web browser here, something from Amazon.com on the Nexus 4. And let's see if we can use the Android Beam here. Touch to Beam. There we go. Very cool. Near field communication in action. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. And wish me luck when I put Ubuntu on this phone. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.